Don't check it, it might fall over. What do you want to do? I don't know what I want to do yet. So we got Ben here this morning. We are headed up for an off-road recovery uh, way up in the mountains. It's some people who from out of the area were up there and got off the side of the road, turning around and over the edge, it sounds like, hanging off the side. And uh, they were able to get a ride back home to back over on the west side of Oregon. So we're gonna go get their truck, get it out of where it's at, get it back down to here, take it to my yard to store it for a few days until they can get back over to this side of the state. And the uh, big problem is with the key. The key to the truck is at the Chevron and Sisters, so we have to go to Chevron and convince them to give us some random person's key. Then we can go get the truck. All right, we got our key, we got our fuel, didn't and ask for DNA we got sample, our bin. And they didn't ask for proof of non-homelessness? No, I'm, I walked in and said somebody left a key for me and they handed me a key. Did you <laughs> ask your name or <laughs> where you're from? It was really easy. Wow, you want a free truck, here's the key. Yeah. But there is one catch to the whole thing, talking about how easy it is. Well, there uh, you go, there's a, there's a what if. We don't know where it is. The key? The truck. Oh. That's yours, not mine. I have to answer that. We'll answer it then. That's all he does is talk on the phone. 406 Garage, this is Ben. All right, Ben is off his phone, and we are out in the woods. And, and I'm, uh, I'm out of slushies. Right. Oh, and his slushie ran out. No, we ran out. But uh, we don't actually know where this truck is because they couldn't get us a pin drop. <laughs> uh, but we know where they're headed to. Only problem is there's a few different ways to get there. And uh, we don't know which one of those ways exactly they took. Uh, the good thing is all of those ways dead end in one spot. So we'll go up the main way. If it dead ends, we'll go down another way. And if that doesn't work, we'll go back up another way. I want to reiterate what you just said before the camera was rolling, though. What? So we got off the road. We've already gone about a mile. And you went, oh, crap. And you reset the trip went all the way. Yeah, and then you turned to me and said, well, they said they were about six to eight miles up. But they weren't sure if it was six to eight miles from the highway or six to eight miles from the gravel road. Which we so haven't even got to yet. Which we're not there yet. So they're anywhere between six and like 16 miles from where we yeah. started that you forgot to set the trip on over. On any one of about <laughs> five, five or six roads out in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, and, needle and haystack. <laughs> and Ben has a delivery coming this afternoon. Yeah, I got a transport truck coming at noon. We, 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 we have to get his house for, for so. No pressure. It's gonna be a good day. Yeah, it's always a good day. So we have gone way it's already up happened. It's already road happened. number one. <laughs> it's already happening. And uh, we didn't find the truck, so we're gonna turn around and head back and go up a different road. That we might have missed on the way up. Maybe. Maybe. Is that what they call backtracking? Track backing? That's what they call like... Lack of pin dropping? Questioning your whole life. <laughs> We gotta go back this way for the next road. Did we come up this way? That is not a road. It's a trail. No, but what's that? Which way does it say? That way or this way? It says that way. Okay, well it's that's gonna pinstripe the truck. I talked to Greg the other day and he oh, excuse me, Eric. Right. This is definitely a one ton. Okay. We're gonna try this way okay now this is this is this is option number three by the way what we talked about earlier though the photograph you have one photograph of the open washboard holy cow one photograph of the actual vehicle yes and the photograph shows gravel road in gray yes not cinder road in red correct but and things change for example but, but it doesn't we just hit pavement it, it, in the it middle of nowhere it doesn't show pavement on any of the pictures we're just going to keep driving around until we find a truck. Okay. So we're getting up the mountain now, and I just thought of a, a fairly large problem in our plan. Uh, the whole odometer thing doesn't make sense now that we've driven all over the mountain back five times. Yeah, that's out the window. So we're, we're flying blind now. Nice work. All right. We finally found it. And did it get tagged overnight? Oh, yeah. Wow. All right, so it is a little worse than it looked in the pictures. Let's uh, let's turn around on the road. Yeah, let's and then we'll the road. take a look at it. Okay. Check out Ben getting that thumbnail shot. So when they described it to me over the phone, this they made it sound pretty bad. And the pictures they sent me, it did not look bad. No, the picture you sent me didn't look that bad. Now it now looks. Now that we're here, it looks pretty bad, and I can see 
Look down there on the driver's side tire, there's a whole lot of air. Yeah. Looks like those rocks right there against the step about all it's holding it. Is there anything on the other side that can put some oil in? Oh, let me look down here. Ooh. I don't think there's any damage. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> that rock right there is, uh, I think, what's holding it and what's very close to doing damage. Oh, this bumper is all pushed up right here. I think they... they yeah, they did get the bumper. Here's what, if I'm looking at what happened, here's my guess, because I can see the track. I think they came up the road, got off the road a little bit here, and slid. And when they slid, they backed up to try and go on the road. And when they backed up, I think he put the front end in here. We'll go with that. I don't that. think he came in this way. I don't, I don't think know. so. Down. Yeah, that, that back tire's got dirt on the downside of it, so I don't think it's going to slide I, down. This, yeah, I don't think this is going anywhere. I think the so, is your issue. Oh, it's got a rock, too. Yeah, I think that's pretty well going to stay right there, so that's not going to slide down. So I think if I get right here yeah. and grab in the front of it, okay. maybe I'll run one line to the front and I'll run one to the back just so I have some control over it okay. to hold it in place and bring the front up and over here. Once we get this tire here onto this ground here the rest will come up you just got to get this so this side here has got to get to the flat I see the spade doesn't leave the back anymore. No, that's pretty much a permanent <laughs> Just leave her on there all the time. Yank them ropes to the rescue. Every time. This is going to be your rear safety. Yeah, it'd be super nice if there's a big tree right there that I could. That'd be way, to, like, back here, but be way too easy. There's not. I feel like it's actually kind of teetering. It's very teetering. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be doing much pulling off of this one. No, this is just to keep it from going down the hill. Yeah. Man, I really wish they would have had a dash cam when this happened. I would have loved to have seen how this actually happened. Is there a dash cam in it? Oh, that's a good question. I'll go look. Negative. Um, I'm hoping this is all broke apart. So yeah, they hit something. I want to pull as close as I can to sideways without pulling into this. Right. Any more than it is. So this one here. Use the soft shackle against this, even though it's already yeah toasted. Some of that damage looks like it might have been from something else, not this incident. You never know. I know. I think that's about right. Okay. We're going to leave it in gear, locked up all that for now to see what it does. Yeah, I'm not getting in there. <laughs> yeah, that's just my don't go anywhere. That's just my don't go anywhere line. Right. This is my pull on it line. Oh yeah, they did a good job on that bumper. Yeah. You got a shovel we can fix the road with? I okay. Do. Okay.
All right, as an innocent bystander holding the camera, I'm going to tell you that went way easier than I thought it was going to. I know. Look at this hole. Show them how far up you are from me. Uh, I'm this far. <laughs> okay. I just need you to get in the picture. Again, the camera does not do this any justice at all. This hole is like, I'm about eight feet from up there down to this bottom where these rocks are right here. I don't know how they got in here. I really don't. Wow. Okay. Well. It's out now. Casey's just going to pull it up onto the road completely and we're going to see if this thing will run and drive. And if it runs and drives, we'll either drive it out or tow it out. I don't know. I think we might just drive it out. All right, so he's going up to turn around because there's an open spot up there. And we're going to come back here. And uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to, yeah, we're going to pull it first. We'll pull it out of the road first and uh, see if it'll run. So I think, I haven't counted yet, but I think since Casey got this tow truck from me, he's been on 16 or 18 recoveries already. Okay, all right, I guess I need to move now. Okay. <laughs> Apparently he was going right, right where I was standing. <laughs> yeah, no, no warning or nothing, just move. I knew where I was going. I didn't know, I thought you were gonna pull it this way. I'm going to tie this side of the boom to this bead ring and then put some tension on it so it pulls over on it before I side load the boom going that way. It'd be nice if there was a hefty tree right there that I could tie the boom to and then side pull. Every one of your trees along here is the size of a toothpick. I know. So it's not the best angle for this, but you work with what you got. Better than nothing. Safety third. So if you watch, the boom will shift to the driver's side. Because... Oh yeah. It's very old, has a lot of slop and everything. People comment like, we saw your boom wiggle back and forth. I think it might have some wear. I know. <laughs> 31 years old, it should have a little wear on it. It's done a lot of work in its day. That was quite a side load. Yeah. This bumper definitely impacted. It got into the headlight and the fender. Yeah, my guess is that rock right there was the damage multiplier of the front end. Hey, you have the key. It's in a sandwich bag. Where's the sandwich bag? Oh. I like your shovel. It's good looking. Good shovel. But we're not even here. We were never here. Well, he's got a multitude of leaks under there that were already there. So, unrelated to this. I don't think there's anything coming out from that. Okay. It's not leaking at all. So, uh, I'm going to drive it back to, to Ben's house. And then we're going to put it on my rollback, which is at Ben's house for shenanigans you will see at another time. And haul this back to my house and tow the tow truck back to my house. Because as I said, uh, these people were up here from out of the area. And uh, I guess they were with some other people who were able to give them a ride back home, which is quite a ways away. And... Uh, they can't get a ride back over here until later on in the week or next week, so I'm just going to take it to my house and store it there until they can get back over here to get it. Just stop here to show you kind of where we're at up in the mountains. Uh, we were up this road about another mile or so. That right there is Three Finger Jack, and you can see we're right up 
near it. That's, I think, around 10,000 feet elevation to the top of that. Got Mount Washington or Jefferson, whichever one. Washington, I believe. Gets down into the Three Sisters right there. That's Black Butte over there. So we are, we are up here in elevation and quite a ways out into the wilderness. So this was a good one. All right, we made it back to 406 Garage. And uh, Ben's delivery didn't show up yet, so we made it in time. So how'd it feel to be back in your old truck that you owned for like a whole oh, three minutes? It's like good old times. <laughs> okay, we're gonna load this truck up on this truck and then hook my wrecker to the back to tow it home. If you're wondering why all these uh, gouge marks are in the ground here and why this truck's on that truck, stay tuned for a future video when you will see what this shenanigans all about. Uh, if Way you're not more fun than the towing video. Yes. If you're not subscribed, now would be a good time to subscribe so you don't miss that one because that was fun. But either way, let's get this thing winched up here. Roll up a window for this guy. Thing is so cool. Give me the key. Hey, look. My ramp's easier to slide in. I know. One day I'll fix this problem, but not today. Okay, and then we're going to bring that down because we're going to need it. All right, we got this one loaded up, chained down. We got this one hooked to the back, chained down, safety chain, tow light on the back. We are ready to head back home or we'll keep this one in storage until they can get back over here. It was way less fun than the other one. <laughs> yeah, that, that, getting the blue truck out was quite interesting. It came out very easy, I thought. It did, but it was very interesting because as you'll see in the video, or how you saw in the video, it was, yeah. it was a lot worse than what we thought it was gonna be. Wouldn't, it's no. They told me it was terribly bad, really, really bad. Then yes, I saw the, but the then I'm like, oh man. Not... Then I saw the pictures I'm, that they sent me. I'm like, that's nothing. Then I got there. I'm like, oh man, that's bad. Yeah. And then it came right out easy. So yeah, it kind of was like a whirlwind of all the emotions. It was yeah, so many emotions. But either way, dark blue truck is on the light blue truck, towing the red truck, and I'm headed home. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, say that. They're still here. They're still, this is the they're end still screen. There. Don't forget to go over to my uh, YouTube channel, 406 Garage, and check out the International Harvester Rescues that we do that are very entertaining. You guys will enjoy. 406 Garage on YouTube and 406 Garage on Instagram. Link down below.